The debate over arming military drones has resurfaced in Belgium, with discussions taking place on November 13, 2024, during a Defence Committee meeting. The focus is on the possibility of equipping the MQ-9B Sky Guardian drones with offensive capabilities. Currently, these drones are used exclusively for observation missions, but proponents argue that arming them could significantly enhance Belgium's defense capabilities in an increasingly volatile global environment. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian drones were acquired by Belgium in 2018 at a cost of 160 million euros, purchasing two units. Developed by General Atomics, the MQ-9B is a next-generation remotely piloted aircraft system, RPAS, designed for medium altitude, long endurance, mail missions. With a wingspan of 79 feet, 24 meters, and the ability to stay in the air for over 40 hours, the Sky Guardian is capable of operating in all weather conditions and can safely integrate into civil airspace. The drone is equipped with advanced technologies like the Lynx multi-mode radar and electro-optical slash infrared sensors, providing powerful surveillance capabilities. The design of the Sky Guardian allows it to carry up to 2,155 kilograms of payload across nine external hardpoints and an internal bay, making it suitable for integrating various sensors and precision-guided munitions. It can reach speeds of up to 210 kTAS and has a range of over 6,000 nautical miles. Compliant with NATO standards and civil airspace regulations, the MQ-9B includes a detect and avoid system, de-icing slash anti-icing capabilities, and an airframe built to last for up to 40,000 hours of operation. Since their acquisition, the topic of arming these drones has sparked debate in Belgium. Supporters argue that armed drones could offer Belgium a strategic advantage by modernizing its defense capabilities, aligning with the practices of NATO allies, and providing a rapid, effective response on the battlefield. The utility of armed drones has already been demonstrated in conflicts like Ukraine, where they were used for precision strikes while minimizing risk to soldiers. The discussions about arming the Sky Guardians have been ongoing since 2018. In 2021, a strategic committee highlighted the benefits of armed drones, but concerns over the ethical and political implications of such a move have kept them restricted to surveillance roles. In early 2024, a proposal to arm the drones was withdrawn after facing opposition on legal and ethical grounds, but a renewed interest in the measure has emerged in the current climate. If approved, arming the Sky Guardians could provide Belgium with significant operational advantages. Armed drones could reduce the need for costly and logistically complex fighter jets, providing precision strike capabilities and the ability to deliver close air support to ground forces. With their long endurance capabilities, these drones could also offer continuous surveillance, ready to respond to threats as they arise. Aligning Belgium's drone capabilities with NATO standards would enhance interoperability, improving coordination in joint operations. While the potential benefits of armed drones are clear, the decision to arm the Sky Guardians is not without controversy. Ethical and legal concerns continue to surround the use of unmanned systems for lethal force, particularly regarding accountability and the risk of misuse. As Belgium weighs these factors, the outcome of this debate could have significant implications for the country's military future and its role within NATO. As global security challenges evolve, the ability to deploy advanced technologies like armed drones could give Belgium a critical edge in defending its interests and contributing to international peacekeeping efforts. However, finding the balance between military capability and ethical responsibility will be crucial in determining the future of Belgium's drone program. Thank you.